few years. So let's bring it around to the mainstream, Matt. Sorry, I just have to mention you whenever I yes. come Yes. Uh, so let's talk about the Hall of Fame or the Night of Too Many Speeches. Um, so I, I got to view this. Maybe, I don't know. I didn't get to see the red carpet. I might just view it through because it, it's always kind of fun to see all those people out of element, you know, just like the WrestleMania todays and everything, right? And you, we were already alluding to some of that earlier. Um, but uh, Mrs. Dad, Mrs. Dad was in the background. Many I didn't times. get to see the yes. Hall of Fame. I get to see and, the- uh, Maria Menounos stole the show at the Did red she? carpet. Well, well for me on this one, so, really so what happened at the red carpet that, that she really kind of... Um, sword, she did the entire Dusty Rhodes hard times promo. What? Two with, Dusty with, Rhodes's face. With, yeah, two Dusty, two Dusty Rhodes's face knew it better than he did. Because oh, he's no. clearly forgotten the actual words of the promo, and she did it in her Dusty impression. Mm-hmm. It was... A microcosm of gloriousness. It really, seriously, just scan through anything they did pre WrestleMania mm-hmm. and just watch whatever Dusty Rhodes was on. <laughs> whatever <laughs> Dusty shows up on your screen. Whenever Dusty, because you can tell, like, when Dusty Rhodes shows up, everyone who he's around just, fuck, just like gets heart eyes and listens <laughs> because he tells so many cool things. Just everything about it, it was so good. Mm-hmm. Plus, we got to see Maurice. Also a very good point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what was... Uh, let's, let's do this, too. You know, What were your high points of the Hall of Fame? What do you think was, was the best speech of the night, for instance? Amen. Uh, it's pretty funny oh, you should say that. Pat? I thought the best speech of the night was actually um, Shawn Michaels introducing... Kevin Nash. That no, was the really? best speech of the night. Yeah, I, I thought so. Yeah. I was cracking up, and it made a lot of sense why they put that at the end of the show, um, because it was just a nice kind of way to keep the crowd energized and lighten the mood a lot of it after there were so many other emotional things at the end it of the night. It was fun. So it's good positioning and a good decision making. Certainly, certainly. Uh, Eamon, you you have some thoughts? Um, as far as the one I like the most, uh, I'll just say this right now. Um, you know, I never really liked the Bushwhackers because, <laughs> for obvious reasons, you know, okay. I, well, I never it's, it's era, not your, not your but, era. But after the Hall of Fame, I got compelled to watch Bushwhacker matches for some reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was, I, and it's something I never thought that I would would say, but oh my god, they were really hilarious. And <laughs> I, I'm sad that Butch doesn't make a lot of appearances uh, now. Uh, in, in like, because I think Luke's the only one that does like the independent uh, stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but Butch is hilarious. Oh, Butch's God. story because was... he's eighty and talks like a pirate. And... <laughs> 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 it's the greatest thing. His it's... story, his story about how Luke had like the um the Royal Rumble. The... Yeah, the real yeah, fast Royal Rumble. He's like, I was in there 25 minutes, and they got the same check as I did. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. best. Oh, my God. Bushwhacker Butch was the best. <laughs> uh, amazing. Oh, fantastic. I, I do have to admit, I was losing it when they started making the random guys start walking yeah. up to the stage so they could personally thank them. Because uh, this is like... Uh, who's like the strict, the most straight legs guy that we could pick out of this crowd to make him do our stupid walk? Of- Bret Hart. Bret Hart. Bret Hart, Bret Hart, Bret Hart <laughs> did not know how to do the bushwhacker. No, no, no. <laughs> Bret Hart's bushwhacker walk was a four out of ten. Well, there's a point where I'm like, my God, he's gonna give him another stroke. And yes, also, I kept getting wor- worried that Luke or a. Uh, uh, or Butch was going to fall off the stage. And also, <laughs> then he started bushwhacking with his canes and not actually supporting himself. I'm like, oh, what are you doing, nice. Luke? So, he knew what he to was be, doing. To be fair, with the canes, the bushwhacker march will be way more effective now because he'd just be yeah. plowing his way through traffic. That's great. And, they did, and I love so that they did address a lot of, uh, like, well, we did all this stuff beforehand. And it's yeah. amazing that we got to do this and become celebrities for doing fun, weird stuff. You know, and, and that worked. You know, I, that, that that's that's so great. You know, I love how they seem shocked that they that they would be cheered. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, <laughs> they seem shocked I, that that was the route that Vince wanted to go with it. I was surprised that they were twenty six time tag team champions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like not in the WWE, of course, but 
like in their, throughout their career. And that's that the thing. That's awesome. one of those things where that, that was that that's the learning point. Like, I can we get a mm-hmm. Bushwhackers documentary with the rest of the story? Because mm-hmm. the majority of us, I mean, even hosted old time, by Johnny Ace. I mean, what, what Matt and I here are probably the <laughs> old the oldest school fans here, right? Um, I need to. And, 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 and yeah, Bobby too is along the same lines. And and we're of the Bushwhacker era. And I had no idea about this stuff. I've heard <laughs> nominal things about the sheep herders. And to hear these kinds of stories, which is so great. And this is why, like, like uh, you know, I think the shoot interviews do well. Like, I would sit there and listen to just stories from some of these guys, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just captivated by these. It's like listen, it's like listening to to you know my grandfather talk about the good old days in Pittsburgh, you know, when you took a a a, a ride you know, with somebody else's Sunday fair pass to uh, to downtown, you know? I mean, this is like the old guys, the way things used to be in wrestling, right? And it's yeah. just so fascinating, especially looking at uh, today. Um, you know, I... I, I think I, I kind of uh, emulate a little bit of I thought you know Nat, you know Nash and Michaels was really good I, I love the spot with it mm-hmm. um, but uh, I, I have to go with you know the heart strings on the uh, the, the, the Connor uh, McCulloch mm-hmm. introduction 